once you put it on, not only you see improvement, everybody else comments that you look good. You're going to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. We know that Fluminess is working. I prove it with my demoscope, and I'm very convinced the stem cell technology in the Luminous is so safe, it is natural, it is a serum. All natural and with no side effects, the results from using this serum found within the Luminous collection have been startling. I have seen such an improvement on my skin, and my friends and my family notice it, and that's, you know, that's pretty amazing. It's unbelievable, within three to four days, people notice already the difference. What really surprised me about Luminous is how fast one can notice the changes on their skin. Okay, so here is someone who's lost volume in their face. A lot of times, in the old days, we used to think, oh, this is because she's got bags under her eyes. Well, everybody has bags under their eyes because that's the fat that supports your eyeball, okay? When we change our weight, when we lose weight, when we age, we lose this fat on our cheeks, and then that fat under the eyes protrude a lot more. The concepts are changing cosmetic surgery. It's not just pulling and making things tighter, but filling and making it more volume, giving it the useful look. And when you do that, you transform this person into a much younger, healthier looking person. You were not able to do this with traditional surgery. She would need a eye surgery, she would need a cheek implant, a lot of things that we don't do anymore. We can do the hands, basically you can do any body part that you want. Okay, this is what I have the passion. This is a patient who has skin cancer, and you just saw the video for him. He couldn't get anybody to fix him using traditional reconstructive surgery because there was no blood vessels here. All the uh, radiation had killed off his blood vessels. Every time they would try to cut this, it would start to die off. What we did was bring in the stem cells from the corner, if I can get this, from here, and we put it in and filled it gradually, building in all that blood vessels. It took me two years to do this. But when you touch his jaw now, it's hard. When you touch up here, it's soft. I didn't do that. That's the stem cells. They know what to do. His skin was very damaged by the radiation. It looked terrible. His skin, you can't see it in the pictures very well, but his skin looks almost normal because of the stem cell treatments. That you could not get with any reconstructive surgery. And that's how we got to here. By doing all those treatments, we saw how the skin got better. By doing the burn victims and doing the ulcers, we saw that the skin is getting better and it's healing better. And in the laboratory, when we were growing all these cells, we saw that um, these cells communicate with one another. And all these basically language materials that were being produced in the laboratory by these cells, we took them and we bottled it. So there's no cell in here. This, this is not a live tissue, but it is a live product. And that's why it works. Because when you put it on your skin, those cytokines, those interleukins, those communication methods that the cells are using, now you're introducing to your skin. And it's going to go into your cells, and it's going to tell your cell, 
to rejuvenate. It's going to tell your cells to rebuild, to renew, and that's why you're getting the improvements. A lot of people get improvement in their pores. A lot of people get improvement in their texture. A lot of people get improvement basically in overall feel of their skin. And it takes time for these cells to replicate collagen. It takes three to six months to see the, the results. But people feel the change much sooner. And when we look at the data that we have, so people saw, 88% saw that their skin got better, 75% saw that the texture was smoother and nicer, 70% um, saw that there, there was firmer, but that takes a little bit longer, um, and uh, the fine lines got better. Not the deep lines, the creases that I showed you that I couldn't even do with surgery, <laughs> but the fine lines will get better. We have some testimonials from patients who had used it for different things. This woman got a burn. Eight days later, with the Luminous, she's much, much better, and she's healing. I've seen improvement in patients with rosacea, with acne, with all sorts of inflammatory processes that when you put Luminous on, it goes in and it reduces the inflammation because that's what the cytokines are doing. Um, they interact with your cells, reduce the inflammation, and improve your skin. One of the things that seems so special about Luminous is that it seems to be one of the only products on the market that uses adult stem cell technology. Even when I have seen some other products advertised, when I looked into it, there was nothing to do really with stem cell technology. Can you tell us if our product is in fact the only product using stem cell technology today? It's not the only product using stem cell technology, but it's just the only product using adult human fat cells. And that's, that's what's unique. There's a lot of hype right now because of what happened with the change in the American government. So they allowed stem cell research and everything became stem cell overnight. Stem cell apples and stem cell plants and stem cell everything. All those ideas are more of a gimmick than, than true science. There are a lot of stem cell products that, that um, are being trying or trying to be developed. The main thing that we have in the stem cell that is with Luminous that is very unique is human and not animal. It's fat and not anything else because that's what will affect, that's the best stem cells to use for your skin basically. And uh, you get the most benefit with the most natural results. Are there other companies who are going to try to mimic this? I'm sure. But it takes years. It's not an easy product to make. This is a very difficult thing to make because it's a live product. So a lot of people will tell you that they're doing things. I don't know uh, if, if you do s research on, on uh, the other products that are out there, are out there like the stem cell creams that they're saying with the uh, Apple ones. Nobody regulates these things. So you have to be very careful to when they just write on the bottle stem cell. What lab is it being made in? What tests are they doing? It's very difficult to know how true those guys are. But I can tell you, we're the first ones. Right now, we're the only ones. And we're the best ones. Wow. The second critical technology is delivered by Reserve, a botanical blend of essential antioxidants featuring the profoundly important anti-aging ingredient, resveratrol, which nutritional experts are now calling the anti-aging miracle of the century. Reserve gives you more energy. It increases your immunity and it decreases the uh, uh, heart attack rate and it has a whole list of, of benefits. Reserve promotes a healthy immune system, increases your metabolism, and also assists in digestion, cardiovascular function, and helps to maintain healthy cholesterol levels. I am one of those aging baby boomers and I want to stay young. And when, they, when I saw the Reserve, I thought, young on the inside, young on the outside. These two mice are racing toward the elusive fountain of youth. So why is the one on the right moving so much faster? 
He's running on red wine, or more precisely, resveratrol, a natural compound found in red wine. And the man behind the mice is betting that molecule is the answer to aging. We believe these molecules are working by activating these very ancient genetic pathways that control the aging process. Exciting, he says, because the genes are activated by resveratrol. The mice who received it lived 30% longer than the mice who did not. That finding made big headlines. Other studies showed that among mice fed a high-fat diet, those given resveratrol didn't gain as much weight as those not given the drug. Sinclair believes that resveratrol actually changes the physiology of the mice. The proof, he says, is in the post-mortem. Their organs looked pristine, youthful, fat-free, uh, and their physiology was just like they were dieting, but they were fat. Convinced they were on the right path, they fast-tracked the drug into human trials on people with untreated diabetes, and the results were impressive. It significantly lowered glucose and insulin levels without the patients changing their diet or taking any other drugs. Resveratrol has caught the attention of prominent scientists everywhere, including PhDs at Harvard Medical School. Dr. David Sinclair of Harvard Medical School recently published his discovery that resveratrol allowed mice to live 30% longer, prevented them from becoming overweight, improved their motor function, and also protected them from diabetes. This study was so groundbreaking that it was published in Nature, the world's most respected leading scientific journal. Resveratrol is turning out to be one of the most revolutionary breakthroughs in modern science. In addition to Dr. Sinclair's findings, resveratrol has also been demonstrated to help prevent the risk of heart disease and stroke, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, certain types of cancer, and has also been shown to increase exercise endurance. Good afternoon. There's a medical revolution happening all around us, and it's one that's going to help us conquer some of society's most dreaded conditions, including cancer. And the revolution is called angiogenesis, and it's based on the process that our bodies use to grow blood vessels. Now, one major part of the angiogenesis revolution is a new approach to treating cancer by cutting off the blood supply. We call this anti-angiogenic therapy, and it's completely different from chemotherapy because it selectively aims at the blood vessels that are feeding the cancers. So let me show you what happens when we put in an extract from red grapes, the active ingredient resveratrol. It's also found in red wine. This inhibits abnormal angiogenesis by 60%. There's just one more disease that I have to tell you about, and that's obesity. Because it turns out that adipose tissue, fat, is highly angiogenesis dependent. And like a tumor, fat grows when blood vessels grow. So the question is, can we shrink fat by cutting off its blood supply? So the top curve shows the body weight of a genetically obese mouse that eats nonstop until it turns fat like this furry tennis ball. And the bottom curve is the weight of a normal mouse. If you take the obese mouse and give it an angiogenesis inhibitor, it loses weight. Stop the treatment, gains the weight back. Restart the treatment, loses the weight again. Stop the treatment, gains the weight back. And in fact, you can cycle the weight up and down simply by inhibiting angiogenesis. So this approach that we're taking for cancer prevention may also have an application for obesity.